Hi, my name is Caitlin Mann, and I work for the Department of Ag Forestry Division. Um, I'm the county ranger for Johnson, Pope, and Franklin County. Um, and I'm here to answer some of your questions about forestry. The first question is, what are some good trees to plant um, around your house for wildlife? Um, some of them would be like oaks. Um, they're going to produce an acorn for, for a variety of species. Um, red mulberry, um, red bud, and dogwoods. And they're also some, some of your natives. Um, so those are all going to produce um, a sort of fruit for um, a variety of wildlife. Um, our next question is, can you really tell how old a tree is by counting rings? Um, the answer is yes. Um, you can kind of do it multiple ways. One is by using this tool, um, the increment borer. Um, and so that's while it's still alive, you can put this, this tool into the tree um, and then it'll pull out a core and um, you'll be able to count the rings um, on that core. Um, you'll count either every dark ring or every light ring um, from the center from the center of the core, count every dark ring or, or light ring um, and then that'll come up with the number of years or how old this tree is. The next question is, what can I do for uh, my timber tracks health? Um, first thing would be uh, contact your local county forester um, so they can make a land exam with you. Um, and then they can come up with a management plan um, that's going to have your objectives and recommendations uh, for that track. Next question is, which is better to grow in Arkansas, um, hardwoods or softwoods? Um, it's going to really all depend on what your, what your objective is. Um, if your objective is wildlife, then you're going to want to target more of a hardwood stand. Um, if it's for timber production, um, you'd be better off with pine because it's going to be a lot of a, it's a, going to be a quicker growing tree um, than hardwood. A lot of people want to know is what is, what is a prescribed burn and why do we do it? Um, one of the biggest things is um, it's, it's a burn that's being controlled by us. Instead of letting nature take its course, we're able to, um, to be able to control that. Um, another thing is it's, it's very beneficial for, um, on, on a lot of levels, for wildlife, um, just also for the health of your forest. Um, it's going to encourage native grasses and vegetation to get established. Um, it's going to control some of those, um, some, some of your just your saplings and keeping that, that, that stand thinned down. Um, our next question is, what are some, some ways to get some, some crews to come in on small tracks uh, for, for clearings or cuttings? Um, one of your best ways is contact your local uh, county forester um, and they can get you in contact with, um, with some smaller track um, logging crews. Um, as well as they can get you in contact with, with some of the cost share programs that um, either our department or NRCS uh, offers um, that'll help with small, small tracks. So the next question is, how do you know when a tree is ready to harvest? Um, one way is um, by using the increment bore. Um, you, can, you can read the, the number of the rings that's on it um, and you will know kind of in general of how old, how old the tree is. Um, and then knowing um, if it's ready, you know, if it's up to, to its age. Um, another way is always looking up at the tree, tree tops or the canopy. Um, whenever that, those tree tops start, start overlapping and you're not getting much sunlight down, um, that's a good indication that it's ready to harvest or at least ready to thin out. Um, next question is, how many two by fours does an average tree make? Um, it's really hard to define an average tree, um, so we went with a 14 inch. So a 14 inch tree, um, you can get about 14 um, boards uh, from a 14 inch tree, 14 inch pine tree. Uh, the next question is, why is lumber so high? Um, that's everybody's thought with forestry. Um, the basic one is just uh, big, it's a supply and demand um, is, is the reason why, just market. Everybody's, everybody's wanting um, lumber. Um, the next question is, what are some ways to keep uh, southern pine beetles or pests out of, out of, your, out of a, a track? Um, like I keep, keep saying, contact your county forester. 
Um, they're going to be able to help you with a lot of management, getting plans. Um, the biggest thing is uh, they can get you in contact or get you connected with some of their programs, um, like the Southern Pine Beetle Assistance Program, um, as well as help you with thinning. Uh, that's going to be the biggest thing is making sure that timber stand is staying thinned out um, to, to keep from getting overstocked, diseases getting in, um, and, and just it, other insects. I know some people might wonder of what the average age of a forester is for Arkansas. Um, as of 2020, it was 47 years old. Um, so in other words, that, that means that there's a lot of opportunity out there um, if you're interested in forestry um, to get involved and um, become a forester.